hi everyone welcome back to the ext.js video tutorial and in this video tutorial we are going to learn about uh, how we can call an api inside the ext.js so these are the steps that we are going to perform in this video so first of all we have to create a new store because we are going to call an api inside the store then we have to write some code for call an api then we have to add this store inside the view and it will be done all right so i'm just closing these steps so i'm not going to make a grid from an initial because i already made a video for that and if you want to watch a previous video or you are a beginner then you can uh, watch the playlist which is given in the description box so if you want to continue with this video this is also fine all right so first of all i'm just going to create a one more store file within the store so just write here let's say extra api dot js so i have to write some code here so for that just write here ext dot define and here uh, you have to write the namespace so it's in youtube this is an application name store because this is inside the store uh, and the file name extra api so why i put the extra api because for the naming convention i'm just use the extra controller extra view and extra model and all, all right so and now we have to extend the store so for that just write the ext dot data dot store with the capital s all right and after that we have to write the proxy So in the proxy, I have to pass an object and first of all, I have to write the type of this. So this is an exec call and after that, we can call an URL. URL will be here and don't forget to one more um, parameter, which is the auto load, because if you are not provide this auto load, the API call will not going to work. So don't, don't forget to that. So all right, so now I need an API URL. So this is a dummy API URL and you can find this URL inside the uh, description box also. So there is a no token for this API. This is open API. So I just write here, all right. So I make a store and write the code here. So now what I have to do, I'm just going to the view file, which is the extra.js and i have to uh, change the store path so in the last time from the static data we call the extra api which is coming from here so this is a static data but now this is a proxy and our alias so i just forgot to put here alias so alias i have to write the simply alias and the alias name like store dot uh, extra api extra api all right so now i can just choose this extra api copy from here and i can simply paste here all right so now i think it's it should be work because in the api we have already the uh, data index name email and the phone number all right so in the api you can see that the name email and phone number now oh, there is a phone it's a phone right they already exist so they should be uh, show here because this is a old data so don't uh, it will sh uh, work after the load so I'm just going to load if there is an error any errors then we have to resolve it so just I'm going to load it okay so first of all it's telling that uh, this is not recognized the extra dot API uh, sometime it's happening due to the we have to uh, uh, because we have to restart the command line so let's check with that so now just uh, stop this and run it again it will take just some moments and after that uh, we can check all right so now let's try it so when i tried it then uh it said that true true is okay so i think i just misspelled the true here 
So now let's check once again. All right, so now you can see that we got the data here. So the data is coming from here. So let's say I want to show the website here. So I can simply show the website here also. So let's act, uh, add a one more column. And here I can add the website. So uh, in this way you can add the as much as web uh, columns that are uh, existing here. So you can all the, uh, if you want to show here, then you can show them here. All right. So now you can see that you got the website. So I hope you got the, how we can call the APIs in XTGX. So if you still have any kind of confusion, you can ask me in the comment box and don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you. Thanks for calling.